Uh, hey all you scotch heads out there and welcome to Thursday Night Scotch Club for another review from the Scotch for Dummies. Uh, tonight we are going to review one of my favorites, Johnny Walker Black. This is a go-to bottle for me. A um, little different from, uh, uh, from what we normally do on the single malts. This is a, a good blend and um, we're going to dive into the Johnny Walker. We're going we're gonna to finally break the the seal on the Johnny Walkers and uh, hopefully we'll get through most of them over the course of the next couple videos and whatnot but uh, we're going to start with the black. Uh, Johnny Walker Red is, is their lowest label if you will, their, their intro label. Johnny Walker Black is right above that. Um, it's kind of a staple at my house just because it's Mine a good go-to bottle, uh, good value for the price. But um, we're going to taste it here, we're going to taste it neat, we're going to taste it with a little water and, and who knows maybe we'll put a rock on it or not. Um, but um, we're going to see what the four dummies think when it comes to Johnny Walker Black. So uh, who call him dummy? <laughs> we all are dummies here. True so enough. let's 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 think about this. So this is one of the first scotches I ever tasted. Smells good. And it's a blend, so it, it's it's going to be consistent every every year, forever. And so it's a really nice scotch in my view. I, I love the smell of it. It smells really good. It doesn't smell that smell. No, I mean, no. There, there's not a lot of smoke in the smell. I it was just, thinking it's going to be super smoky. It's really it's, nice. It smells delicious. No, the taste. I think well, it's delicious. To me, I, it's just a go-to. This is a staple for me. And, and one thing I want to say about blends, you guys, I, you know, there are some people out there that are, you know, single malt, old school. It's only single malt or nothing. You know, the hell with the blends. Um, don't limit yourself. You know, if a scotch is good, a scotch is good. If you like the blend, great, go with it. Yep. If you like the single, go with it. Don't don't limit yourself to one or the other. Try them all and, and find out what you really like. I think you're going to be surprised when you when you get it on your palate and really give it a good taste. So I have to say, you know, I tried this with you probably, gosh, a year ago. Yeah. Uh, entry level into it, and it was so smoky. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> can't do it. I, I was, I couldn't do it. And I've had this, I've had this whole thing going for a long time. I'm like, no. I'm not gonna touch it again. I tell you what, it's it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. It's not no. that smoky at all. They're thirty, what thirty to thirty five dollar bottle yeah. here. So it you can drink the whole bottle and not feel guilty about getting another one. No. <laughs> yeah. So so a lot of good. a lot of single malts will have the fruits and the flowers and things. This doesn't. This is a. I see this as a kind of a, a base a ba a base so. scotch. It's not fruity. It's not flowery. It's not too smoky, but it's just got a nice. They haven't scotch done anything flavor. unique with it. It's a it's a basic it scotch a basic flavor, flavor. and it does smoke. it well. It's a it's a good taste. Yeah. You're not going to get any nuances out of it. It just is what it is. And I think for an everyday glass, it, it's a good glass. It's good. It's got There's caramel to it. It's got a taste to it. It's got a little bit of heat. The sure. taste, a little bit little of heat, little but it's alcohol. good. It's not too peaty, not too smoky. I think what blows my mind about the blends is that uh, a, you know, a distillery like John Walker can consistently put out the same taste with a blend. How do they get that same flavor? This is a 12-year bottle, so what, the, what Johnny Walker's saying is that every scotch that they used in this blend was 12 years or, or older. Um, and to be able to get a consistency and, and quality in every bottle uh, just amazes me. But to me, it's a price. Stable. Absolutely. You know, it, um, it, it's, a, it's a great value. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is. And there's nothing wrong with this scotch at all. And if you haven't tried a lot of scotches, this is a good one to get you an entry level. Get you to, in the door. Well, to get you a springboard into doing some of the entry level single malts. True. This, this gives you a good comparison without all the fruit or you know weird right. stuff that they can sometimes do with yeah, a single right. malt. This gives you a good baseline to compare. This is what a 12 year old without any kind of additives or weird stuff going on. Or weird we'll price. Like You're not going to get break the bank to no, get the bottle of this. Yeah. Absolutely. So when, I, when I rate this, I'm going to give it some points for price. For the price of this scotch, I, you know, I keep it in my, I keep it in, in my house. And I drink it, yeah. I throw some rocks in there, it'll last a long yeah, time. The, 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 the flavor, the flavor pulls along, along endurance so you don't have to worry about losing it, about having to keep drinking it and maybe get too, too much drunk, get drunk on it. You can okay. sit it for an hour, yeah. sipping on it, the flavor endures on your tongue, kind of changes, and then it gets better as you, as you refresh. When you, I, I will it. say it, I've had more expensive scotches that did not have a, the lingering qualities that you're talking about. And it does have a, a good 
aftertaste yeah. to it. It's yeah. uh, swirl around to it. To me, edge is completely and utterly gone without losing the flavor. It's so one no more caramel coming out of it. Now yeah, it, it does oh, open it up. It it's changed. amazing uh, what it does to it. Can't go wrong with it in, in my book. But let's let's get uh, let's get some reviews. What do you think? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four fingers. You know, all things considered. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm surprised. I really am. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was getting into this one thinking, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so smoky and everything else. It's, it's, <laughs> It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I would to me the sweet cherry yeah. gas guy. It's it's pretty good. Um, uh, I'm gonna go with um, gosh. Um, this is a tough one. Mm -hmm. I, I want to give it two, but I'm gonna go one and a half. Uh, I, I I think it's I think it's something that I would drink again. I, I'm a single malt guy. I really like the the, the sherry stuff. Um, but from from what this is doing in the blend. It's tasty. I'm not gonna lie. It's tasty and it's affordable. So yeah, go buy it. I'm gonna give this three fingers, three out of four, because for under forty dollars, you can get a scotch that you can drink a glass for an hour, and not, and just enjoy it. Yeah. You can. You're not food. drinking this for an hour. You may. Some other folks may drink an hour. Not this guy. Two or three glasses. You may have three glasses in. Yeah, yeah. When I try to slow down, <laughs> but no, this is this is a this is a three finger for me. This is this is this goes back to my initial Scotch roots, and it's what I like. It's it got the little it's bit of smoke. It's, I mean, yeah. it's a, it's an entry entry level Andrew. I'm, I'm gonna give it one and a half with Drew. Um, I, I think it's a good it's a good baseline Scotch. Do I want to run out and have a glass of Johnny Walker? You know what? It's not a bad scotch. You wouldn't turn it down. I, I absolutely wouldn't turn right. it down. There's nothing wrong with this glass I mean, at all. A glass of this will cost you twelve bucks in a, a, a absolutely sure it would. Yeah. Yeah. My I, I guess my thing is I would rather spend a little bit extra money and get a scotch that's got a, a little more nuances going on in it. Uh, to me, this is a very basic entry level. Uh, nothing yeah. wrong with it. What they do is a consistent quality right. product. And they do it very well, but for me, I I like a few of the other scotches that we've had. Okay. Um, I, I like to see a little bit more complexity. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So okay, bouquet. Well, yeah, <laughs> he likes. He likes All right, so if I'm gonna take the red or the blue pill, I'm gonna go and give nice. this a two and a half. Um, and I'm gonna I, I want to say three because this is a staple at my house. Um, I honestly have a few bottles stashed away in my basement um, just for <laughs> when in case you I bet it goes really good with a cigar. You know, you, it's, could, you could buy a one seventy five of this. I, mean, I just I mean bottles. it's a good staple drink. I in a hard day I can I can pour a glass of it and not feel guilty that I'm hitting a really expensive bottle. I enjoy it. It's consistent. It um, it really is what I know when it comes to scotch. That's what I started on. Um, and when I did start, I didn't think I liked them single malts at all. I was like, oh, those people are crazy. I can't you drink that. And now we are crazy. here. I we are crazy. A year later. We're uh, dummies, actually. Yeah. Dummies. Um, and I love a lot of single malts, but uh, I can't throw this away. And I'm only going to get it a 2.5 because I happen to have about four or five other Johnny Walker labels at my house now. And I know <laughs> how much better Johnny Walker can get. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing? What? I'm 2.5. 2.5. 2.5. So. Um, we got two 1.5s, a 3 and a 2.5. Where's that? Where's right, that? Right, right, two. Good two. Good two. Good two. two. So, and, and right. that's fair. I, that's I, a, that's I, a, a really good that. rating for this, considering, it's I mean, I didn't know. $32 bottle of scotch, 12 years blend. You, you take um, a drink of this, you're like, whoa. I know Kung Fu. It's just that good. <laughs> it's that good. You're so funny. Holy crap. I love it. Alright, so there you go. So, All right. um, what do we want to say? We want to remind everybody to uh, thanks for watching, yes, subscribe absolutely. to the channel, um, like it, share it, uh, spread the word. We're on, up on Twitter. Yeah, yeah that's that's Scotch for Scotch Dummies, Dummies. For dumb. as in one, two, three, four, or, well, you know what we're saying. Scotch for <laughs> the number four, four dummies. <laughs> we're all um, dummies. That's fine. But join us on the, on, the, on the reviews. If you've got comments, if you go out and pick up a bottle and you review it, throw yeah. it in the comment. We'd love to hear what you that's think fun. about yeah, it. Absolutely. absolutely. Or and if you want to hear us review a scotch wrong? that you like and right. see what we have to say about it, absolutely let, let us know. Let us know what let it is. Know. I mean, as long as we can afford it. I mean, you're going to throw <laughs> one of the $3,000 bottles of Dalmore out there. You, you'll have awesome. to send us a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. We'll, we'll review it. Yeah, yeah, so we will review it. But right. uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. So long, you guys. Black Cheers. Live. Cheers.